Hey guys, Cassius here, back with another typical YouTube intro, and happy Friday! It is the 20th of May 2016, and nothing is still happening. So, today I'm going to talk about two things, very short show today, two very small things that probably will apply to literally no one because no one cares about these things but me. Well, that's not fair to say, but the things I want to talk about are Halo 5 Forge coming to PC, and Destiny's Rise of Iron. Starting off, Halo 5 Forge, the map maker for Halo 5 Guardians, is coming to PC later this year. No, Halo 5 is not coming to PC, as far as we know, but it is very exciting to see that Forge is coming to PC so those creation tools can get back into the hands of more creators. Which is excellent because Forge is a great creation service. I've never used it myself, but I've seen a lot of Forge maps and I've seen what people can do with those Forge maps, so that's very good. I'm very much looking forward to see what more creators do with the creative tools the Forge has. Stepping away from Halo, however, and moving on to something similar, but very different. Destiny. Now, Destiny has not been getting a lot of content because, well, that's a long story. And we're not going to go into that. Instead, we're going to be talking about a leak. Yes, I know I don't talk about leaks very often. I don't like it. It's kind of gross and very clickbaity. I it's just mm. but these leaks are very substantial because it hints at the next expansion for Destiny, the next paid expansion, I'm assuming. It's called Rise of Iron and it probably has to do with the Iron Lords. And if you aren't aware, the Iron Lords are Destiny's vanguard. They are the ones who fight the wars, the ones who protect the city, they are the strongest of the strongest guardians. This picture in particular, the one that I have up on screen right now, shows Lord Saladin, the Crucible Iron Banner Master, holding an axe surrounded by wolves, standing in front of a broken down wall. Now what does this mean? People are surmising that it has something to do with the Twilight Gap. Others are hoping that it means that we're finally getting to go to Europa, which was Rumored to be in Destiny 1, but was cut out along with a lot of other things in Vanilla Destiny. It's still exciting. I still like Destiny. I play occasionally. I don't play as much as I used to because the game has lost its luster, which happens from time to time. But if Bungie can bring me back into the fold, then I will happily join. And that's all I want to talk about this week. That's all that really happened this week. Nothing's going on because we're creeping ever so closely to that big E3 nugget where there's going to be a ton of things to talk about and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. <laughs> but until then, please enjoy your weekend, play plenty of video games or maybe go outside if it's nice and if it's not nice, stay inside and beat that game you've been trying to beat for the past week and a half. Anyway, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a wonderful day.